So up YouTube, this is my last run with my newest team. And I'm gonna leave with the stable eye as always, and he goes into Voltali, the Italian Jolteon. And I'm gonna go for a foul play, but not before he yawns me, because you know Jolteon has outstanding speed. So I went for foul play because I was expecting him to go into something completely different. Then I try to will wisp, and of course it misses at the worst possible time ever. And so then I get thundered and takes me down to the point of like no return. Cause now Yawn takes his toll and I'm pretty much screwed. Unless I can wake up first turn, but I don't because that's just my Dusclops that does that, apparently. So yeah, he takes out my stable eye. And now I'm gonna go to a plan B. I'm gonna go into a Glisker, try and talk it to him because Burn didn't do anything. I predict the switch go for a substitute. And then my Toxic Orb poisons me. Too bad that doesn't give you poisoning at the end of the turn. But yeah. So I'm gonna expect a switch into a steel type. And he takes that earthquake pretty well. His return, he should have known, does nothing because the Glisker is a defensive wall and Umbreon has no attack whatsoever. Well, it does, it just kind of, you know, sucks unless you're using a curse set. Which, obviously, he was not. So I go for another Earthquake, it takes him down to almost half, his return still doesn't break my sub. I don't know why he doesn't do something else. Pretty much just gonna lose another Pokemon, free of charge, at my expense. So, yeah, he takes back his Noctali, and goes into, I don't even know how to pronounce that Dragonite, and so then he gets Toxic. And I go for Protect to Toxic Cell him, because, you know, that's how Toxic Cells work on Gliskers. And he goes for a D-Dance. Kind of irritates me, because Protect was wasted, and... Yeah. Not the best prediction ever. Didn't notice. So I'm going to test my luck next turn and go for another Protect. And unfortunately, it, as you will soon see, does not work. But it did not really matter at all, because this guy made like a noob mistake. And he goes for an Earthquake, and I'm a Flying type, so that doesn't affect me, and I don't even know why he went for an Earthquake in the first place. Because... I have a sub up, and a dragon move would have done a lot more. Probably didn't want to be locked into one of his moves, which would probably be Outrage. So go for Protect. And this is the amazing thing. I can keep doing this until the Dragonite dies. So Protect Count is at 1 at the moment. So the next time I use it, it will be at 50% success rate. So I use it again, and of course, it works for some strange reason, because usually, it does not. And so he goes for an Outrage, and I'm like, you just got blocked my protect. That didn't sound black at all. Yeah, I'm actually black, so that's kind of a insult on me, I guess. And... Protect count is now at number two, and now it is at number three. And this Dragonite is not going to last much longer because toxic damage is going to eventually take this thing out. So his outrage is once again blocked by my protect, and if it wasn't, it would have been blocked by my substitute. So now he's at one HP, and I really don't want to take any damage, so I'm going to go for one more protect count four. And I calculate this out, I'm pretty sure I'm right, that was a 12.5 success rate. With this Dragonite at 1% HP, taken down by a Toxic Skull that had 4 Protects in a row. That's like, unspeakable. So then he goes into, uh, Infernape, I don't even know how to pronounce that name either. I think this guy is Swedish, actually, he... Yeah, I think he's Swedish. I don't even know where that is. It might be. 
In Italy, I don't even know. Wait, oh, crap. My geography sucks, so yeah, he breaks my sub with a stone edge. And then he stone edges me again while my substitute is down. And that did a significant amount. Good thing I'm resistant and defensive. Because that really would have sucked if I wasn't. So, I'm going to get Poison Heal. And that's going to do some good things for me, I guess. Go for a Protect. Because, you know, attack is Stalin. Really don't want to try and test my luck again, though. Because that's like once in three months happening. So, uh, he calls his semi brows back into a raw flex. The Snorlax. Uh, the, this, these might be their name from wherever he's from. I don't even know. So, he takes my Earthquake pretty well, considering how high his HP is. And so, I go for a Toxic, and I miss. And that's me being a noob right there, because I do end up going for a Toxic again. It's a good thing I had a sub up, because that would have done large amounts of damage, because it's quad super effective. So I Toxic, and it does nothing, and I'm like, oh crap, I forgot, he has immunity. So let me use his Ice Punch, and that takes me down to 50. And I'm like, I really don't want to take another one of those, so I'm going to switch out. And I go into a Dust Clops. Probably wasn't the best choice ever, because all I need this thing to do is burn it, but then Seismic Toss won't do enough, and... As you'll see, Pain Split really won't do anything else either. Because Snorlax's HP is too high and mine's way too low. There's probably about uh, 300 HP difference. So instead of going for my usual tactics, I go for uh, Will O Wisp. This time it actually hits, and then I go for Pain Split. And see how much that didn't do after this gets done lagging. So then he goes for another curse. Obviously, he has a curse lax. But that uh, does not really matter. Because he's burned. And so his attack plus two is nullified. So all he has is up to defense and lowered speed. So that gets him pretty much nowhere. All he is now is a mixed wall. Which will probably be taken down by Burn. Awkward moment. So I'm going to try and go for a Burn stall and protect. Goes for a Zen Headbutt. I don't even know how this thing can do a Zen Headbutt. It's like a thousand pounds. So then I'm going to go for another one of my awesome moves. I go for Seismic Toss. Does not do nearly enough as I'd hoped. Picks him down to probably just under 200. And this burn is really killing him. Oh. Then he goes into Voltali again. I go for a protect just to see what it does. And he goes for a shadow ball. And that would have done large amounts of damage. Had I not protected. So then he goes for another one. And I'm going to try and do some damage to this thing before I faint and I go for a pain split expecting to be very far down on my HP but unfortunately you can't kill something with pain split and that thing's HP was not low enough or high enough for pain split to do much so it's going to take me out with the shadow ball so now it's 4-4 four, four. I go into Alakazam hoping I can either take a shadow ball or be faster than this thing and he goes for a shadow ball and he gets a critical hit I don't even know if Alakazam could have taken that, but that was just ridiculous. It's a good thing he's live orb because he would have taken me out regardless. He would have swept so much of my team. So I go into my physical sweeper and I go for an outrage because I kind of be need to lock, be need to be locked into that to do anything. And he goes into a, a Duskinor and I'm like crap. 
This thing has really high defense. And then I get so lucky as to get a critical hit. And so that takes out his Dusk Noir, and then he does a really jerky thing, and then he, he quits on me. Who, who does that? Really, who does that? I don't rage quit. The only reason I'd quit is if I'd absolutely have to quit. You guys agree? So yeah. Like if you hate rage quits. Leave a comment if you will.